The United Nations Framework Classification is a system to classify fossil energy and mineral resources. Its fundamentals are explained in the following short presentation. Effective management of resources requires accurate assessment of the supply base of fossil energy and minerals. Recoverable resources must be described in a manner consistent with scientific, social and economic information, and which needs to be consistent with the information describing the project to recover these resources. A number of standards have evolved over time in response to professional needs and local requirements. There has been a natural development towards a common global standard. The United Nations Framework Classification for Fossil Energy and Mineral Reserves and Resources was adapted in 2009. The UNFC classification system consists of three axes. A first as axis assessing the viability of socio-economic aspects of a project, the so-called E-axis. A second axis displaying the status or feasibility of development of a project, or the F-axis. And a third axis displaying the level of geological knowledge required to develop a project, the G-axis. In an early stage of a project, economic viability of the project is uncertain, represented by the category E3 on the E-axis. Feasibility of development is also uncertain, and the project is categorized by F3 on the F-axis. Geological knowledge is still limited, categorized as G3 on the G-axis. The status of the project is represented by a small cube, which is located where the E3, F3 and G3 axis join. The project is thus categorized as E3, F3, G3, or in its more common form as 3, 3, 3. When a project progresses and development seems economically viable, the E category progresses from E3 to E2. As development becomes more certain, the project progresses from F3 to F2 on the f-axis and with increasing knowledge the g-axis becomes g2. The original cube 333 has now moved to the position 222. When a project matures and starts producing, the socio-economic viability becomes category E1 on the e-axis. And with a developed project, the f-category becomes f1. The project moving up from category 2 to 2 can now be categorized as 1, 1, 2. This is the full version of the United Nations Resource Classification or UNFC system, with the most used categories represented as colored cubes. Although the system is very comprehensive with the potential to cover any possible case of development, not all possible categories are used in general. Indicated on this graph are the most common categories as college cubes, ranging from exploration to commercial. With three axes, the UNFC system is very complete to categorize all possible outcomes of a project, but it requires certain knowledge and might be less intuitive in its application for occasional user. This slide shows a simplified 2D model derived from the 3D model and which allows classification of most common projects. The first column describes the potential recovery from the in-place resources. The second column classifies the type of project from exploration to commercial projects. In the three columns at the right hand, the projects are classified in categories E, F and G, similar to the description given on the previous slides. An exploration project of which the economic feasibility and development potential are uncertain and for which the geological knowledge is limited can be classified as 3, 3, 4. For a potential commercial project, the economic viability is still uncertain and classifies as a 2. Equally, 
that certainty about potential development classifies as a 2, and the geological knowledge could also be classified from 1 to 3. Here the project is classified as 2, 2, 2. Once a project becomes fully commercial and starts producing, the project can be categorized by 1, 1, 1. Other classification systems are in use. For example, the Crisco template is commonly used in the extractive mineral industries. This system also uses different axes to assess the level of geological knowledge and of socio-economic factors. For Petroleum Resources Assessment, the Petroleum Resources Management System, or PRMS, was defined by various professional organizations in the petroleum industry. The system again classifies as petroleum resources based on the level of uncertainty in geological knowledge and the chance of commerciality. For professional use in specific industries, classification systems like the Crisco template and PRMS are most suitable. Other systems have been developed to best suit local requirements. Developed over time, many of these systems have now been moving towards a similar classification system as the UNFC. The UNFC is a system applicable to different industries, overarching other systems. Although the Crisco template and PRMS are well suited for specific professional use, UNFC captures the common principles and provides a tool for consistent reporting regardless of the commodity. To accommodate for using different systems in combination with UNFC, mapping has been carried out to provide a common understanding between the various resource classification systems. This short presentation about the United Nations classification system, UNFC, for fossil energy and mineral resources discussed the main principle of the system and its use at different stages of development of a project. For more information about the use of UNFC, please visit our website. Thank you.